Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn, and in this video, we're going to go dragging some channel ledges for catfish in some windy conditions. Well, if you've watched any of my fishing videos from this spring, it's been horrendously windy. Uh, it seems like every trip we go out, the wind's blowing. Some days it's howling. This day was no different. As a matter of fact, this day was actually a little bit worse. I had to, uh, it got to the point where the boat was going so fast that I had to put out a second 10 foot Easterland drift sock. And these drift socks are huge. Uh, I use the big ones that Easterland Sea Anchors makes. Uh, I'll put a link uh, down in the description section uh, on where they're at. You can find them on Facebook. They're down in Cross, South Carolina. Uh, they are uh, on, right on Santee Cooper, which is known for its wind and known for having to slow a boat down. These things are huge. They're well made. Uh, and they're made by a family down there that's been down there for generations and uh, they will really do the trick on slowing your boat down no matter how big it is. things about the big cat fever rods you can flip these little fish in here like a bass little channel get them back in the water now what a ledge is is basically the bank of the old river channel that flows through a reservoir uh, pretty much every reservoir in the united states was built on a river uh, the river was dammed up the area behind the dam was flooded it created the lake or the reservoir. Uh, these ledges are basically the steep drops along these river channels. Now, you can have them on points. Uh, you can also have them on bluffs. Uh, there's a lot of different places where different uh, pieces of the earth extended out toward that river channel. It can create some pretty good stuff. But the majority of the ones you're going to be fishing and that you're going to be seeing and that are the most defined are the old river channel. Well, the thing with fishing these channel ledges, not all are created equal. Just like other places in a lake or a reservoir, uh, not all shallow water is the same, not all points are the same. So sometimes you got to fish them, put in some time, and see where the biting fish are holding. Got another bite. The old lose reel, putting them through the paces. Small fish, but I think it's bigger than the last one. Wind is horrible, I apologize. There's absolutely no way to make the audio any better. It's on a hooker's terminal tackle. Line rattle. Six alt hooker's terminal tackle. Circle hook. I had a pretty basic setup of six rods that I didn't even put any planer boards out because it was so windy. Uh, when it's this windy and you get any kind of crosswind going on, uh, it can kind of drag the planer boards into a pile so I didn't even mess with them. But that's okay, I was still catching fish. Well, you may ask why channel edges? Why are you fishing there? Well, fish seem to be holding there uh, during this particular weather pattern we were having. Uh, we had had some decent spring days and then some cold snaps, temperatures dropped, rain, uh, a lot of wind. And when that happens, uh, these fish like structure. They like having a safe place to go to. Uh, and generally, they're pretty lethargic biting. So uh, you can anchor in these places, which is fine. It's a great way to fish them. Uh, you can also vertical fish over them if you want to use like spot lock on your trolling motor or something like that to vertical fish over them. Uh, I just prefer to drift and drag across them. I can cover more water. Really all you're doing in this situation is trying to present some baits and find that one opportunistic feeder 
that's down there and is hungry. Uh, this is not drifting and dragging basics. This is a little more advanced fishing. Uh, it's a little bit tougher. It takes some time on the water to get used to controlling your boat. Uh, but once you do, uh, once you get used to it and figure out how your boat floats and how it drifts, uh, it's you can keep a boat on a channel ledge with a slight crosswind. A total crosswind is pretty dang hard, but if you got a slight crosswind, uh, you can use your trolling motor to keep that boat uh, basically right along that channel ledge. Alright, just had another one go off. It's so windy you can't hear yourself think out here. But I'm catching fish. So I'm not going to complain much. We're not on any monsters, but we're bending rods. And in my book, that's a good place to be. Now water temperatures were into the mid 60s, uh, so I was trying to keep the boat below a half mile an hour, uh, which was tough. Uh, most of the time it was 0.5 to 0.6. Uh, I was about as slow as I could get it, even with the two socks out. Uh, with one of them, it would go nowhere near that slow. Um, and that's something you have to keep in mind when you're fishing in these kind of conditions. You gotta keep the boat slow. Uh, generally these fish are lethargic and not really active feeding. Active feeding fish seem to hit baits moving faster, uh, but you're really fishing for fish here that are staged up and not really feeding. And uh, the slower you can drag that bait by them, the better off you are. Wind's still howling. I shot a video recently where I was showing how to spool up a fishing reel. And I always tell people to put a little loop on there uh, and loop it on, tie it onto the spool that way. And there's some people, I've seen videos where they just put a piece of tape on there and tape it down and start spooling up thinking they'll never get to the actual, you know, bottom of the spool. Well, like I always warn people, sometimes you put that rod in the holder, you're letting line out and you forget about it. Well, guess what? I forgot about it and this reel was all the way down to the knot and I had a fish on it. <laughs> Seriously, I gotta crank all that line back on. It's gonna be here a while. Well, I knew I was gonna be reeling a while. All I can say is I'm happy that wasn't a 50 pound fish because I would have had to reel all that stuff in and go after him. Well folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Here's some more videos that I think you'll like. If you like the channel, please hit subscribe and also hit that bell symbol so you'll be notified when new videos are up. We look forward to seeing you on the water.